beautiful as it looks, it is not an I. Oh, 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 shoes. Is that a fish? No, I think I'm just getting hung up in seaweed. No, that, no, that's not a fish. I'm just getting hung up in these weeds. And the, oh yeah, that's the weeds down there. And this wind is blowing me around, like I was saying. Rough day to be out here on this water, on a kayak. And the freaking wind is blowing me around. And my stuff is getting caught on the weeds and it's making the rod tip bend like there's a fish on. But it's just, across the weeds it's a rough day rough day to be out here so far windy fighting winds but it's beautiful though makes it a little harder to fish but it's beautiful what is in this water do you wonder well I'll tell you I've caught crappy yellow perch largemouth bass all your all your sunfish and bluegill nice bluegill really nice fish in here they're all really nice size I was just about to call it quits. Literally was just packing up to leave and get the F up out of here. It's too windy. I feel like a tree is about to fall on me. No fish biting. I know I'm out here just testing out the new GoPro and uh, trying to film with it. Just to see what's up. Not even really trying to catch any fish, but oh my gosh. It was so rough just when I'm about to leave. Lo and behold, I start getting on a low pattern. I start getting some little bites on my uh, digging rod. I'm like, okay, word. Maybe it's some small fish. Okay, I'll throw out my uh, bottom rig with the worm. Let him nibble on the tail or whatever. And yeah. I cast with the uh, bottom jig with the bottom rig. I just got smoked by a little largemouth bass. Got him in here and uh, safely released it. I forgot my pliers in the car, so he got a little bit bloody, but he all right. But let's see if I can get a fish on camera. If anything, if anything, there's a bunch of tiny little fish in here that I can feed all my worms to. And that would be nice so I don't have to deal with these on my way out. I just wanted to find fish, period, because I, I have no idea where they would be right now. Uh, early fall, late, 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 late summer. It's basically fall. Summer is already done. So it's fall. Let's go ahead and throw that bottom rig back out do the same exact thing i did when i got the bass a little bit of line and then i'll start jigging This time I'm gonna pay attention to my positioning.
Okay, fish on. Oh yeah, another large mouth. Okay. Word. Got him. Okay, so there's probably a nice school of large mouth hanging out right over there. Oh, he swallowed the mess out of that. Let's try to get it. If we can't, we're just gonna have to let him take it man he's just swat oh my gosh i don't think i'm gonna try because right, i don't even have pliers so I'm, I'm just gonna mess him up i'm just gonna let him get the hook and try to pass it later <laughs> sorry buddy Woo. Oh my goodness. That is the most weeds I've pulled up out of the water ever. Ow. God, I wish I brought my pliers, man. Uh, but, yeah, I've seen and heard. I mean, you saw the fish, the fish swam off. Uh, pretty easily but yeah so apparently you know if you hook a fish like that in its gills you know it swallows it it attacked it and really just swallowed your bait and you don't have pliers or anything I mean you, yeah you don't have pliers or anything like that to get the hook out if you try to yank it out get all in his gills and whatnot try to get it out like that and uh, make the fish bleed even more you give the fish less chance for survival than if you just left the um, if you left your uh, hook and your bait in his mouth and just let it swim off like that and uh, hopefully it just passes it later because a lot of fish get caught with old um, with old lures and all that stuff in their mouth so they can definitely live with it it's not ideal but definitely better than accidentally killing the fish trying to get your uh hook back if it's all caught in the gills like that and uh, the back of its throat let's see if there's another one at least i got a fish though hopefully it was recording Well, bye-bye, beautiful water. This is probably my last uh, freshwater fishing trip for the uh, rest of the year. I just don't know what to do in the freshwater when it's fall. I, I have no idea. I don't know what happens to the fish. I don't know where they go. So I usually uh, hit up some salt water. So, Bye bye Blue Ridge for now and hello beyond.